Good morning, everybody. All right, what's up, YouTube? Dylan here with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar, and today we are going to be attempting to unbox the DF64. Um, I have to kind of put it on the ground here so you guys aren't going to see the full unboxing because I can't really do it from up top of this table. However, welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, I've actually purchased this grinder with my own money, uh, so I will give you guys, uh, like always, my honest review whether I get products sent from me, uh, sent to me, or if I buy it myself. However, I did purchase this for the channel, so um, all my money here. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. It actually was not supposed to come until Monday, so really excited that it came early. So I just want to give a shout out to uh, CY from Speedy 3D Creations. Uh, really happy that I can support uh, the local, or not the local, but the coffee community. Sorry for the pause, my wife was calling me. It's all right, I'll call her back. All right, so here we go. So before we get op started with unboxing this grinder, uh, there is a couple things that I actually have. Uh, this was sent to me from Barrett by Porter Keeper, so thank you so much. This is the uh, pretty much just the ring, so it allows you to see uh, the number a lot easier on the grinder. And then also a special thanks to CY from Speedy 3D Creations as well. Um, he actually uh, has this, uh, it's an anti-popcorn. Uh, you can actually print this on a 3D printer. So my cousin actually printed this for me. Uh, so again, thank you to him as well. So Luke, thank you. But I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this grinder because that is what most of you want to see. Now, uh, there is one person that has made this video a thumbs up. So if you guys can just hit that thumbs up for me, it really, really helps this video be seen and it allows me to reach more people in the coffee community. So for that, I genuinely thank you guys so much. So I am going to go ahead and open this up for you guys. So the very first thing you'll see, uh, let's see if I can bring you guys a little closer here. All right. So the very first thing you guys are going to see is this uh, instruction book. So it says the DF64, and then it pretty much just goes through a lot of instructions, the warranty and service, um, just some things that I don't really read. But I really encourage you guys to not be like me and to read the manual before you uh, use your machine. But I don't do that. So here we go. I'm going to try to attempt to pull it out with like bear hugging this thing. It's put in here by a nice thick foam, but it's really hard not to grab this thing. So technical difficulties, just give me a second here. There we go. Whew. I don't need to work out for another week. I haven't worked out at all anyways, but it's okay. All right, and then you just have an empty box. All right, so packaging, uh, it's just pretty much covered in by this foam, uh, two pieces that are pretty much just press, compressing this grinder together. Now, there are some horror pictures that I've seen on the Facebook market uh, or the Facebook uh, community chat groups that their box was actually damaged and it, per it punctured this heavy foam. I mean, this is a pretty nice foam. However, it did crack the base of the unit and I am just hoping because there is no issues with the box that this is not broken as well. So again, here we go. All right, so uh, this is pretty much how the foam insert is. So it's pretty much just kind of the outline of the unit itself. So pretty nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the side here. All right. We'll just take the bellows out first because I don't have to really, sorry, my microphone keeps slipping. All right. So the first thing you're gonna see here is the bellows system. So this is just gonna help you uh, pretty much blow the rest of those grinds out of your burr sets. And it's gonna allow for more of a zero retention. So really, really nice rubber. I would think this is a pretty good um, build over here. <clears throat> All right, next we have the dosing cup. Now, everyone is talking about the plastic dosing cup. I'm not a huge fan of the plastic. However, I do really, really enjoy, however, uh, the fact that you can see the grind in here and you can see the static very, very well because it is a clear cup. However, 
I am going to uh, attempt to see if anybody makes or designs um, a dosing cup that's made out of uh, the really nice metal that, or stainless steel that the other dosing cups that I currently have is made out of also to maybe paint match it like white. Um, I'm just not a big fan. I feel like you make a grinder that's built pretty well and then putting a dosing cup, I feel like they had to really cut costs so they made the dosing cup like this. Um, it just kind of makes the unit look cheap in my opinion um, just because of this dosing, fun, uh, dosing cup. But like I said, it's just the dosing cup that is made out of uh, a really thick plastic that I just am not a huge, huge fan of. But it's still probably going to be pretty well. Uh, so with the dosing cup, oh, about to drop them all. Uh, it does come with this little pouch and it has these little tiny black pieces in there. So this is actually gonna go on the forks of the unit itself. And I would recommend putting these in the bottom. I will show you guys in the video as well. Uh, these are actually for the purpose of keeping those, that dosing cup on there or portafilter from sliding off because of the angle of the unit itself. So definitely go ahead and utilize these. Um, let's see, can you use your other cups with you? I will actually try that for you, Linda. Um, as soon as I get this undone, I will try that for you guys to see if any of my cups will fit. Now, I think the problem is, is because these have su this has such a high, or has such two big um, parts right here, like the portafilter, I don't think that they're going to fit, but I will try. I think it's gonna, everything that I have is gonna be too small. So here we go. Sorry, this is really heavy with the use of one hand and guidance with the other. All right, so here is the white. I actually purchased the white, as you can tell. So it's got some uh, foam all over it. So just have to clean that off. I'm very, very um, a clean freak, so I like to clean it all off. So based off looking at it, there's actually sparkles inside of it. Um, I don't know if I can show you with one hand, um, but there's actually a lot of sparkles in this thing. There you go, you can kind of see it right there by my fingers, which is kind of cool. This unit is very, very heavy. I mean, this thing is heavier than the, than the niche for sure. I mean, just holding this thing, this thing's gotta be maybe 10, 15 pounds. I don't even know, but this thing is very, very heavy. My wife is here, she tried calling me, but I uh, hung up so I could talk to you guys. So if you guys want to say hi to my wife. Hello. So just unboxing the DF64 here. That's fun. All right. So on, again, on the top here, you're going to get the top cap of the bellow system. So it's just going to sit right on top like this, which is a pretty good fit and just allows for, um, for the bellows to actually blow air through the unit, through the burr sets, and then out through the chute. So here is actually um, CY from 3D Speedy Creations, um, 3D print. Uh, this is available, I believe this is the version two. Uh, you can, this is available to print on Thingsverse for free. So um, if all of you guys want to just say thank you to uh, CY for that as well. Uh, it was really, really nice of him to do that. So that pretty much just fits the bellows, pretty much just goes right over the unit, I think, or here. Yeah. This just sits maybe in here. Yeah, I think it just sits up there like that, and then this goes over top of it. But I will try doing that really quick. I'm gonna go eat my lunch. All right, love you. All right, there we go. All right, so it took a little bit of um, guidance in there, but it fits really, really well. That's just the anti-popcorning uh, right there. And then this just sits inside of the unit like so. So, and then it allows you to blow the bellows. So really, really nice design there. Um, I really like the bellows system. Now I know the bellows system, hold on, this is gonna take some uh, adjusting with one hand. Hold on. Sorry guys. Let me go ahead and take this bellow system off. So this thing is pretty, gets pretty stuck in there. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to look at 
maybe a different way to um, to put this on because it is a really, really tight and snug fit. I think it's too tight. Yeah, I think it might be a little too tight um, to fit in there because it's not it's not sitting, it's not going in there at all. Yeah, so this is uh, definitely too tight of a fit. So it's supposed to actually go down all the way into the actual system itself, I believe. So yeah, this is a little bit too tight, so I might have to ask my cousin if we can do some modifications to it or see why if you have any um, kind of um, adjustment that I could ask him to make. He's actually not in town, so it's going to be a while before I can get a new one. But yeah, this is just the bellow system itself. It just slides right into the system and then you can blow it out. So based on first review, uh, I really, really like this unit, it's definitely really, really durable just based on the build quality on the outside. Um, now, the only thing that uh, I'm not a huge, huge fan of is the plastic base. Uh, however, uh, I believe this is a plastic base. Oh, uh, no, this is not a plastic base. This is like a metal base, but it's very, very thin metal, which is, it's good. All right, <clears throat> so for the cup, it just sits right inside of the holes like this. Now, it does come standard with these met or these uh, rubber pieces on this unit already. So I'm just gonna slide these to the bottom. I think if you add all four, that might be too tight. I think these are just extras, but just sliding these on the bottom. So yeah, they just slide right on. And I would just recommend having them on the bottom because it's going to allow for have a better grip so it doesn't slide out while you are grinding. Now, another thing that I have seen on videos that I would maybe see about changing uh, is the fact that if you see here, the, the way the chute is, I think that it'd be a lot better if the chute was actually closer to the cup or the cup was moved up closer to um, the chute itself. So I think maybe if there was a cup that was made that could sit like this with the forks down here uh, a little bit if this ring of forks were down here like towards like the one third of the cup i think that if it was like this a lot of those um a lot of those grinds would just have no other choice but to go into the cup itself so i think designing something that has the forks up here to hold the cup that close to the chute as opposed to all the way down here is going to fix a lot of the static issues that are flying on your counter. So um, definitely something that um, I can't do because I don't have a 3D print, but definitely out there if you guys are uh, watching and you guys can, like CY or Mr. Thomas, uh, definitely recommend making something that holds the cup up very close to the actual chute itself. Thomas and myself are making the one to lift the cup up closer to the exit chute. Yeah, yeah, so that's gonna be, um, that's gonna be my main concern there. And I think once you do that, you're gonna notice that a lot of the coffee grounds aren't going to spill out all over your counter because if you guys are like me and like to keep your workspace clean, then you're gonna wanna get that. All right, <clears throat> so just build quality in general, like I said, built very, very well. Um, I believe that this color can actually be changed uh, I know that there is a print that you can do just to kind of lay it over to the side. Um, one thing I'm not a huge fan of, and I don't understand why they put the button down here. Uh, so if you guys can see, they put the button down here, the power button. Um, I would think because you're putting your portafilter filter here, your cup here, and you just always have something sitting here. Uh, not sure why they thought this positioning was good. Uh, I would put it to the side uh, or even up here towards like the chute or something uh, just because if you look at the niche, you have the small little toggle switch on the side, which is very nice because it's away from everything. You're not uh, getting involved in all this going on up here. And, and it, even if you have a bigger cup, it's kind of just a tight fit to turn that on and off, especially if you're going straight at it. This is a little easier because it's at an angle to me, uh, towards me, however, just don't like the placement of the button itself. Um, so again, uh, I really like the bell system. I like the build quality. Uh, not a huge fan of the plastic cup, but it is a nice and durable.
plastic cup. It's made of thick plastic, which is good. Uh, don't like how low the cup sits as opposed to being up towards the chute, but that's already being worked on by CY and Mr. Thomas. So thank you for that. Uh, I think the base is very, very thin. Uh, I think that it'd be really prone to breaking if you were to uh, move it or transfer it a lot. So just be careful with the base. It is very, very thin. Um, also, uh, the build quality, like I said, is really good. I like the pearl. Uh, it's kind of like not just a flat white. It's a pearl base. It's kind of like my uh, Brewista uh, pearl white kettle, uh, which is really nice. I really like the look of that. Uh, I'm probably going to put my lo Dylan's Homeless Press Bar logo on either the back or the sides. Uh, I think it'd be nice. Obviously, you guys probably don't want that on yours, but i um, probably going to just customize this myself because it looks like a pretty blank canvas, which I really, really like. Um, I'm going to see if I can show you guys up here. So here is the uh, model. I think this is the newer version because it does have the upgraded le uh, numbers. So it doesn't have like those weird cursive, not cursive, but weird number designs, I guess you can say. And also I believe the old one didn't have espresso, mocha, filter, uh, or anything like that. I think it just said fine, or uh, just correct me if I'm wrong. I think the old one just said fine or coarse. So it, this one does say coarse and fine. However, it does say espresso, mocha, and filter. So I think that's really good because it could be very, very confusing for most people who are new to the game of espresso. And I think that adding the espresso mocha and filter, the wording on here is really, really going to help because if I was new to espresso and I saw this grinder when it first, uh, when the dial first came out, uh, it really just looked like numbers to me and I didn't know what, I wouldn't have known what fine and what course was um, right away. So it's really nice that they put espresso and stuff to really just guide you through, uh, pretty much just going through using the DF64. So I am not going to be plugging this in today. However, I am going to be doing a lot of comparisons with this grinder. Um, like I said, I did purchase this with my own money. Um, if you guys would like to join my Patreon account, uh, it is now up and running. I believe you can customize it. There's like a three, uh, eight and a $10 option or a three, five and $8, $10 option. Um, you can do like $2 a month. This is a monthly uh, subscription that all the money that goes towards uh, that Patreon account will be put right back into the channel. Uh, I have purchased most of my units um, on this channel, uh, so it is going to be a lot easier for me to get more units for, uh, for review for this channel. Um, I, like I said, I did purchase this with my own money, and it's for you guys. Did I need this grinder? No. Did I want this grinder? Yeah, I mean, I, I really liked it. The spark of the interest when it first came out really made me want it. The price was there. Uh, and I think this could be a game changer to uh, those of you who are just starting out with your coffee bar and who just want to up their game with espresso. So I think this is very, very great grinder based on the reviews that I've seen so far. Um, it's not hard to pretty much dial in uh, the coffee as to what I have seen as well. Uh, also, uh, if you guys would like to uh, see this comparison with the niche, I will be doing that. I have the Kruv Sifter uh, over here in the package still, so I will be unboxing that. Uh, I already unboxed it on my channel, but I am going to be putting this grinder to the test with the Niche, the Atom 75, the built-in grinder from the Breville Barista Express, and also the Smart Grinder Pro. So I think that's going to just give you guys out there who um, I guess are still a little weary on purchasing this unit, uh, just kind of a more, um, positive mindset in purchasing this grinder because I think if this grinder can perform as well as the niche or some of like my Atom 75 because it is a flat burr grinder, I think that this is going to be a huge, huge step up to your home espresso bar. Our home baristas out there are getting really, really knowledgeable and I really think that um, with us influencers who have purchased or have received uh, or been given this grinder can really make it shine to show you guys out there why you do or do not need this grinder. So again, uh, there are so many different mods out there. CY uh, from Speedy 3D Creations has made uh, has made these kind of um, anti-popcorn just because it the, the the beans do pop up and they get stuck in these they get stuck in these little rivets here or these little holes. 
Uh, also, it's really nice because they're just constantly, constantly uh, finding different ways to upgrade this grinder, which for the price and for uh, just all the mods that are coming out, this potentially has, this has the potential of being one of the best uh, budget-friendly grinders on the market. Um, so come this, I think if you purchase it on Amazon, it's $450. I will post that link down below if you guys are interested in purchasing. Um, also, I purchased this from CY, from Speedy 3D Creations. So again, thank you, CY. Um, it is a little bit more pricey, but I like to support the, um, the coffee community. So I did purchase through CY. And uh, I definitely am extremely thankful that I did. It was worth the wait. It took a little bit, but like I said, I like to stay in the coffee community because uh, they have treated me right, so I want to help them as well. Uh, again, um, if you guys are interested in Dylan Thomas Russell Bar t-shirts, uh, I am making them. Uh, they are available per order, so you guys can go on dylanthomasrussellbar.com. Also, you can find my Etsy as well. It's going to be a little bit easier to go on dylanthomasrussellbar.com to purchase these items. Uh, also, if you guys are in my Patreon account, thank you guys so much. I will be giving special discounts to those who are Patreon members. I will also be doing giveaways to people who are Patreon members as well. Uh, also, there is a donations tab if you guys would just like to donate. It is not a monthly subscription. It's just a donation to this channel for me to get different coffee equipment to review for you guys. I am a very, very small channel, and a lot of companies uh, will not send me products like this uh, because they are a bit more expensive for, um, for me not having a huge following. So for those of you who do support this channel, I thank you guys so much. Uh, hitting that like button helps me more than you know. Um, you don't ever have to even give a donation. I'm just extremely thankful for those of you who watch this video and who give it a thumbs up because uh, right now there's 15 of you watching, seven of you guys gave it a thumbs up and that really, really helps my video be seen and I really appreciate all of your guys. So I'm just gonna go through and see if there's any comments here. Um, so just give me one second while I read the comments. Here. I'm just doing this by myself, so I have to read all of them. Uh, there's a lot. Let's see. Just give me one second while I come through. If you guys have any questions, put it down in the uh, comment section below. So ask cousin to print at 99%. Yeah, so I think that would help because it does have... I'm just dropping everything. I, clumsy. Uh, it, this ridge right here on the side, I think is just a little bit too much. And I think printing at 99% is just gonna leave um, a little bit off of that. So I think that's going to help a lot. I was really bummed because I was really looking forward to using it, but that's okay. It's probably gonna be like four months or five months before I can get it printed. Uh, shipping quite, DH earns a lot more. Uh, $40 more for custom, but it's worth it. Let's see. If I prefer floral bean fruity, which is better? So if you, pr so uh, Yasin said, uh, if I prefer for floral fruity beans, which is better? So there's a lot of controversy out there whether or not uh, flat burrs and conical burrs really have a huge taste difference. I own the Atom 75 and the Niche, uh, so conical burr and flat burr grinder. And I honestly can say, yes, there is a bit of a difference. Uh, I really, really like how the flat burr grinders give you more of a subtle experience when tasting uh, coffees. Uh, I think it leads a lot of, it leaves a lot of the brightness out, meaning uh, the acidity. Uh, so when they say brightness, they, they're talking about acidity. So you get that like, I guess I can almost think of it as like a tangy taste. In my opinion, uh, other people's palates might be different. However, I really, really enjoy the subtlety of a uh, latte and even espresso with the Flatberg grinders. Now, I do notice that with the niche, I am able to get a more florally taste with pour overs. Um, excuse me. Uh, it's a lot easier to get a, um, a better fruity taste, I should say, with a conical burr. So if you guys are more into pour overs, uh, I would definitely recommend looking at a conical burr like the niche. Uh, very good price point, it's like $700. Um, I would recommend that you wait to purchase the niche when they actually become available because otherwise you're gonna pay upwards to $1,200 US for a grinder that costs $700. So they're marking these things up so much because 
the niches are so, so hard to get. Uh, these are becoming the same way. Uh, not as bad, but uh, a lot of people are purchasing this unit because it is so good for the price that you can get with all the mods too. So yeah, I hope that answered your question, Yasin. Uh, let's see. Niche is better, yeah. So let's see. Linda said, Dylan, I'll send you the version three. Oh, thank you, Linda. I appreciate that. Try them both, yes, in. I'm biased on conical. Yeah, some people have their preference. I will order the cup holder when you have the mod available. Cool, thanks. Let's see, see why you share the file for mod. Yes, I'll print too. Thank you so much, Linda. I will share my files. Yeah, so uh, really, really like the first view on the, uh, on the new DF64. Really, really enjoy the grinder just by the appearance. Let me see if I can get that, sorry guys. So I like the appearance of the grinder. I think the build quality is there. I think that uh, the looks of it, I like the looks of this grinder. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys like the looks of this grinder? I think it looks very, very stylish. Uh, some people say it looks cheap, but I actually really like it. I think that it's designed very well. Uh, I know time will tell, I haven't used it yet. Um, like I said, there's just a couple things like the uh, the dose or the dosing cup and also the button that kind of just um, don't really enjoy it. Wait, let's see. What did he say? I will share all my files. Dylan, check the front. Check the front. What am I checking the front for? <laughs> Hold on one second. Oh, is that the new front? Um, maybe. I don't know, let me see, I'll show you guys. I, I mean, I definitely think it's the newer version only because it does have the, uh, the lettering on the top. Oh, the font, font, sorry, yeah. So yes, this is, I believe, the newer version. Um, I showed people, um, I showed people earlier, but here's the front here. So there's the lettering, or the numbering, I should say, in the letters. Uh, I like it. I think this is the new version only because it does have um, on top of the collar. Mm, yeah, so I think I think this is the newer version only because it does have the newer uh, font. I didn't see like the mocha or espresso that was there before on the older versions. Yeah, so it's the new font. So yes, this is the newer version. Uh, so uh, I believe CY does does all do all people uh, sell the newer versions now, or are the older versions still out there to purchase? I gotta stop watching unboxing videos. <laughs> um, so yeah, I actually thought that this was a cheap plastic for the forks and stuff, but this is actually built of pretty, I would say, nice metal. Uh, for the forks, so I was really pleasantly surprised to see that this was not plastic. The only thing plastic on this unit, um, besides the rubber part up here, uh, that's not like a actual metal, is this cup. So new version now. Yeah, so uh, I think that if you guys all order, I think you guys are all going to get the newer version, which is nice. That is the key to uh, waiting. So yeah, okay, so this is aluminum. So got to run, but be online. Thanks for sharing. You're so welcome. Okay, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys are watching, make sure to hit that like button. If you guys aren't subscribed already, come join the family. Subscribe to Dylan's Home Espresso Bar. Also, if you guys would like Dylan's Home Espresso Bar t-shirts with Stay Caffeinated on the back, new shirts are upcoming as well. And uh, I will be posting that on my website. It's already posted. Uh, so you can go purchase them now if you would like one. Also, uh, I am also uh, giving one-on-one -on -one barista training. If any of you guys are struggling with your machines, you want to learn more, you want to learn latte art, how to froth your milk better, definitely make sure to check out Dylan's Home Espresso Bar and sign up for one of my one-on-one -on -one barista trainings today. Also, if you guys have not already, like I said, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It really helps my channel grow and be seen around the coffee community. And I will see you guys on my next video where I'm comparing this and the niche grinder single dose. Stay tuned. Peace.